like and subscribe or this will be in your bed tonight. Today I'm going to show you how I cracked Mr. Beast's formula to make infinite viral videos. Just like most of you, I've been watching Mr. Beast for, I would say, a couple years now. But one day as I was watching his last to leave circle challenge, I asked myself, how can a seemingly normal guy have such massive success on YouTube? I spent the next week watching and studying all of his videos and pretty much any video that was made about him. This is what I found. Over the next week, I studied pretty much every Mr. Beast video and what elements he put in it to make it go viral. What I learned was that Mr. Beast figured out the two most important things in the YouTube algorithm right now, and that is CTR, which is click-through rate and watch time. So click-through rate is when you get something shown on your page and whether you click on it or not. So it's the ratio of users who actually click on the video when they see it. And watch time is how long someone watches a video. So the better click-through rate and the better watch time that you have, the more likely the algorithm algorithm is to send your videos to other people. And Mr. Beast is a mastermind of this. When, For example, when you see a Mr. Beast video, you think, there's no way he did this. That's impossible. For example, I ate $100,000 golden ice cream, or I survived 24 hours straight in ice. But the thing is, he's built an audience that knows that he does this stuff, so they will keep coming back to see all the crazy stuff he does through the catchy thumbnails and titles. So now that we've talked about how he uses catchy titles and thumbnails to exploit the click-through rate in the algorithm, we need to talk about how he uses jump cuts, good sounds, music, and text to keep users engaged and watching so they don't click off. It is a platform's job to keep you on it for as long as humanly possible. I mean, they have people working around the clock to keep supplementing you with dopamine so you can't stop scrolling, clicking, or watching. So because of this, our attention spans have gotten much shorter. So on a YouTube video, if you want to keep your users engaged or viewers engaged, you have to constantly feed them new things every second. And what I've learned is that Mr. Reese does this extremely effectively. Watch this clip of a Mr. Beast video and count how many edits or cuts or effects or pieces of music that he puts into this clip. Opened up the world's first free restaurant. And if that wasn't enough, I also paid people to eat at my restaurant. We haven't even opened yet and the police just told us they had to shut down a mile of traffic and there's a thousand cars in line. Put it on up. Yeah! And I've never ran a restaurant before. Money for you, money for you, money for you, money for you. You better come get a beast burger. So in that video clip, you can obviously see that it is very hard to look away or click off of it because of how many cuts and how exciting it is through his content and his editing. And the weird thing about Mr. Beast is that he knew that he was going to be successful and that he was going to be huge on YouTube. He said on a podcast before that Pretty much all he likes to think about is YouTube and obsessing over how to make his videos better and that he's obsessive over the quality of his videos. And what that does is it builds a trust between you and your viewer that where they know that your next video is going to be amazing. They know that your next video is going to be worth watching. So that also helps improve your click through rate and watch time because if your viewers know that your video is going to be pretty much amazing and a good one every time, it doesn't matter what the thumbnail is or the title is they're going to click on it no matter what because he has made so many crazy videos and amazing videos. People are always going to click on it. So next I want to talk about how he actually makes these viral videos because obviously having good editing and an impressive thumbnail and title isn't just going to make every single one of your videos viral. So I've noticed that every one of his videos has a combination of these or at least one of these. And these six things are, it's a it's either a challenge, so for example, last to leave circle, last to take your hand off for the money. It has large YouTubers, which is the last to leave the circle with YouTubers video. It either has drama, which he doesn't really have much drama in it, but other YouTubers do use that. It has pranks. He's done some pranks, but not that many. It's money related. This is a huge one for him. Pretty much every one of his YouTube video titles has giving away money or doing this with money. And that really draws a, a viewer in because a lot of us don't think it's possible for something like that to happen. But he has really 
going all in and putting all of his money straight back into his YouTube channel. So, of course, when you see a title like that, you think, oh, there's no way. But he actually does do it every single time. And last is the reaction. So, obviously, pretty much every one of his videos has reactions from his friends, random people, subscribers. I mean, even him. Just the better the reactions are from the people and the more hype they get, the more excited the viewer is as well. And of course, the more of these that you incorporate into your video, the better it's going to be. Because obviously, if it's just a prank and it doesn't have any good reactions, it's not going to be a good video. But if it's going to be money related, if it's going to have large YouTubers, if it's going to be a challenge and it's going to have good reactions, like the last YouTuber to leave the circle wins $100,000, it's obviously going to perform very, very well. So that is going to be the end of the video. I hope you learned something and enjoyed this video. And you can take something from it and apply it onto your own channel. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, please. And I will see you in the next one.